I think I started playing when I was in sixth grade, just like the church league ball. And then I got into club the year after that. When I got into high school, I was like, I definitely want to play college volleyball for sure. Just because I like to compete so much. The more I worked hard, the better I got. So I don't know. I just fell in love with the process of putting in the work and then seeing the results. And um, the competition, obviously, it was a lot of fun. Hi, my name is Mary Gable. I'm an outside hitter on the Catamount women's volleyball team. So Title IX has helped me a lot, first of all, to be able to come here. And with that, I've been able to travel um, up and down the East Coast, which is nice because I'm from St. Louis. So I really want to be over here without being here playing volleyball. Um, aside from me, it's also given like my family and my sister opportunities to come and watch me and travel. Like Raquel absolutely loves coming out here. Um, she loves going down to Dillsboro and eating at all the cute little restaurants they have in town. And without like Title IX, I would not have been here because of the opportunities provided to me. My younger sister Raquel inspires me to play because a lot of people take the sport that they play for granted. Like they look at the hard things like, oh, I'm so annoyed I have to go and go to weights or I have to go to practice. And when I talk to my sister, she's always said growing up like, oh, I really wish that I could play volleyball or I really wish that I could do this. But she's visually impaired, so she can't even see the ball. So it's like the little things like that where it's like, OK, well, this is an opportunity. This is something that I need to be appreciative of rather than complaining about it. When Raquel was initially diagnosed with Wolfram syndrome, she was around five. Um, it was back in 2010 and um, she got diagnosed and they weren't really, they didn't have the money to continue doing research. And my mom was like, I'm not going to sit here and watch my child deteriorate. Like I'm going to do something about it. So she put the Snow Foundation together and she's been working very hard on it. She's raised over $2 million for the foundation. So they've been able to do, um, continue the research and to do clinical trials. So she's really, I also, she motivates me a lot too, because she's a very hard worker, so. It was hard for her in high school because like not a lot of people like reached out and tried to make friends with the blind kid. She kind of struggled with like making friends growing up and so we were like, well, why don't you get involved in something like all of my best friends play volleyball and so she was like, okay, I'm gonna do karate. And um, she made some good friends there, but she actually recently attended a, a blind camp this summer back in St. Louis and she was able to meet um, other kids that are blind too and are like her. And she actually flew out to Ohio a couple weeks ago to spend the week with her friend that she met at camp. She flew up by herself too, so it was really impressive. So she is a little athlete herself. A lot of people think like, oh, if you're blind or have a visual impairment, you're not able to do things and compete, but she has been able to do stuff, which has been really interesting. Um, watching her grow has been really cool too. Title IX has provided me a lot of opportunities being a female athlete, but it's also provided my younger sister a lot of opportunities being an athlete herself because she is disabled. She's still able to compete and do karate just as anybody else would be able to and that's something super unique because 50 years ago I, I don't think that would have been possible for her.